vital elements are children learning an instrument and playing an ensemble together. Those are the two bits that have to go together with a performance element. And it's that sense of camaraderie and team spirit that enables the ensemble approach to be successful. Traditionally, a lot of the teaching of music has been done in individual lessons. What's interesting about the ensemble learning is different skills that they're learning that you can't get from individual teaching, and that's from whole classes up to ensembles of 80 children. Their progress has accelerated much more quickly because of this way of working, because they're all learning from each other. Working as a whole group, as a whole class group, means that they're, they're accessing really good quality teaching. Playing within a, an orchestra has actually taught the children uh, to work together as a team, to work collaboratively, to have more respect when an individual is playing. And in a class, you're teaching those philosophies throughout the day. Children have to learn the rules of the class, learn the, the rules of how to behave and how to treat each other. And in, a, in an ensemble piece, you're doing exactly the same. We try to approach the music from lots of different angles so that the different types of learners are able to access the music in different ways. I think it's really good because it helps us all link. It helps us get better since we've got more people. If we like lose the rhythm, and then we we'll start going fast and then we we'll look at their instruments. You, then you raise the four beats and you go D, 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 A, 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 D, D. What we like to do on the project is to support our older children to really mentor our younger children, whether that's from um, a social point of view or whether it's kind of teaching them things that they know how to do on their instruments. And that's a really important part of the older children's development. I used to get help, so I was thinking, why not I help the younger children as well? I think they become more engaged because I'm one of them. It gives the younger children the ability to, to aspire to uh, follow in their footsteps and they in turn come back and perhaps teach some younger children themselves. You just done viola, right? This is quite similar to go to my shoulder shell. I know, I know. So it makes... Oh, and I should do a Friday. My brother did teach me how to do and I tried it. There's a big thing with children learning a can-do attitude in classes and in the Harmony their ideas are supported and promoted and they listen to really well and, and they, they feel confident in the session and as a result they'll come and share ideas at other times of the day with you. My favourite thing about the music classes is to play in front of my friends and it makes me a bit more confident about myself when I'm doing it. It's like made me think to myself, can do this and let me try more stuff to do. The teamwork, the cooperation, the collaboration, discussion with each other about oh, how do we play this, what do we do here, all that kind of stuff. These are other skills that help the children become more rounded individuals. So Rosie's coming round, we need a, a violin one here as well. It's good for the, the tutors to kind of take over from each other and keep the atmosphere in the room high and, and the children sort of enjoying things. But also to see a sort of respectful relationship between our adults and them having a conversation and bouncing ideas off each other and it's a very sort of stimulating and enjoyable environment for the children to be around. Having a group of teachers enables the person at the front to be able to concentrate on their job and the other teachers to circulate, to spot children who are having difficulties, to be able to go and sit down, get to their level. Having the team teaching is really useful for that. It was critical that we employ musicians of the highest calibre who were dynamic and could engage with children and build relationships with children and go down sometimes the more challenging routes of behaviour management with children. We've got a fantastic violin teacher called Rosie and she's done a lot of work with special needs. Looking at Rosie and how she approaches things, I fed that into kind of my outlook as well and that's had a huge impact on how I approach all the children. The In Harmony programme gives our pupils a sense of camaraderie. The staff take part, the children take part, the senior leaders take part and together we progress things, we move things forward. <laughs>